Hey guys, Proper English here. I just wanted to record a uh, quick little intro because yesterday I tried to upload this video as one entire part, but it turns out that I can't upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes yet. So I had to uh, take it and split it into two parts, and that's why you're getting it today in two parts. The first part is going to deal with two types of notation called sign magnitude and one's complement. And in the second part, you'll, uh, you'll see two's complement. All right, so I hope you check both of them out and, uh, and enjoy. So finally, let's talk about two's complement, which is going to be the most useful out of all of the uh, types of negative number notations that, that we're discussing today. So two's complement actually doesn't have to deal with a negative zero, and it gets a little extra range, and those are the things that make it more useful than the other, uh, the other notations in, uh, in normal uses, except for some you know, special situations. So let's, uh, before we get into those advantages, let's, uh, let's just look at how you convert a positive number to a negative number using two's complement. So we're going to take one, which is zero, zero, one, and we're going to convert that to a negative one, which is one, one, one in two's complement. So first we invert the, the, the number. So that's a zero, zero, 001 getting inverted to a 110. One, zero. We change the zeros to ones and the ones to zeros. Then all we do is we add one to that. So 110 one, plus one is 111. One, one. And, uh, and yeah, it's that simple. Let's, uh, let's take a look at two and we'll do this, do a little visual demonstration. So we'll do zero and we'll call torches a one and unpowered redstone zero. So zero, one, zero, that's two. So the first step is inversion. So we change that zero to a one, this one to a zero, and then that zero to a one. Then we're going to have to add one to this. Well, we've already got a one in the ones place, so we're going to need to carry over. So we end up with one, one, zero. And that is our negative two. Negative two, one, one, zero. The same thing uh, happens with three. We invert and we add one. So zero, one, one becomes one, zero, zero. You add one to that, it's one, zero, one. And that is a negative three. Now, like I mentioned before, we don't have to deal with a negative zero. So why is that? Well, if we take zero, it's zero, zero, zero. We can invert that to get one, one, one. Then we add one, and when we add one, we actually carry across all of the bits, and we end up with one, zero, zero, zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to ignore the, uh, the one in that first position. Uh, if we were doing addition and we had three bits, we'd call that one the carry out, because we don't have a bit for that. Um, so we're just going to ignore it right now and end up with a zero, zero, zero. And we're gonna talk more about addition and, and adders and carry out soon. Uh, so you guys can look forward to that. Well, I hope you're looking forward to that. I think it's cool. Now, the other advantage is we get a little more range. We get a negative four. So we didn't see a negative four when we were talking about sine magnitude notation or one's complement. But in two's complement, when we have three bits, we get a negative four. And you'll see negative four is one, zero, zero. All right, so you might be wondering, well, isn't four one, zero, zero? And that's true, so let's, let's look at the conversion process. Uh, we're gonna take one, zero, zero, that's a positive four. And we're going to convert that into, an, uh, well, first we'll invert it. One, or blah, zero, one, one. Then we add one to that, we get one, zero, zero. All right? So both the, uh, with these three bits, we see four is one, zero, zero, and negative four is one, zero, zero. Well, how do we deal with that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to say that 100 is negative 4, and it's not positive 4. In order to get a positive 4, we're going to need to add one extra bit, and it'll be 0, 1, 0, 0. And uh, 
And then the conversion, actually, if we, we can uh, we can take a look at that, we're going to, uh, to have a one here, all right? So now we're taking zero to one, one to zero, and then both of these zeros to ones. Now if we add one, well, we're gonna do the same carrying thing over here, except now we, we, uh, we end up with one, one, zero, zero, all right? And that, is, uh, is called sine extension. So when anytime we're gonna take a negative number and we're going to, uh, to add more bits, okay, what we're gonna need to do is we're going to extend this, uh, this most significant bit over. All right, so let's, uh, let's try that with, um, well, let's try that with, with a two. So if you remember from before, for a two, we're gonna invert and then we're going to add one, so we get one, one, well, one, zero, <laughs> one, one, zero. Let's uh, fix our grass there. All right, so if we want to take this and we want to add a, uh, a fourth bit, well, we're going to add a one there. All right, so now a two would be one, 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 zero. We need to add a fifth bit. We're going to add another one, all right? And um, and these would just be would be zeros in the uh, in a positive two, right? So if we're going to take a positive two, all right? So zero one zero, and we're going to add an extra bit. Well, now we just add one more zero, all right? So if it's a positive number, you're adding more zeros when you add more extra bits. If it's a negative two's complement number, you're adding more ones when you add extra bits. So I hope all of that made sense. Uh, I'm looking at this now, and <laughs> I've got a bunch of torches and redstone laying around here, and I hope uh, I hope the showing this uh, had some uh, some meaning for you, and you were able to follow it. Now, uh, now you 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 understand how to represent positive binary numbers and negative binary numbers you've got a good foundation for everything else we're going to talk about. Uh, we're going to start getting into, uh, well, next time we're going to start talking about counters, and I'll show you how to build a binary counter. Then we're going to get into logic for addition and subtraction, and uh, maybe even get into some division and multiplication and some more advanced tutorials. So there's a lot to look forward to. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying watching this. If uh, if you have any feedback about the tutorials, about uh, things I could do better or explain better, please uh, please leave me some some messages in the comments, and and uh, I'll definitely definitely think about what you guys say because you know that's what that's what matters the most is that you guys are under understanding the things that I'm talking about. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys next time.